Now let's talk about how to size the pump so that it's the right one for your aquaponic system. So I want you to take some things into consideration. They're a little bit different depending on whether or not we're talking about a timer-based system or we're talking about a siphon-based system. So we're gonna start with a timer-based system and then I'm gonna go into an example on a, on a siphon-based system. So the first thing that I want you to think about in a timer-based system is that your pump needs to move enough water volume into your grow bed in order to fill that grow bed to the standpipe in the amount of time that it's running. So generally with timer systems, we're running them for 15 minutes on, 45 off. So I have 15 minutes to fill that grow bed right up to the standpipe. That's consideration number one. Number two is more of a biological issue, and this is around filtration of the fish tank. I want to turn over all the water in that fish tank once an hour, meaning I want to take all that water, run it across the biofilter once every hour at a minimum. And the third consideration is something called head height. And this has to do with how far are you trying to lift that water against gravity in order to move the amount of water that you need to move. So, say for example, I have an 800 gallon per hour pump. That's only going to be moving 800 gallons at no lift. As soon as I've got to push that up against gravity, I'm going to start seeing a degradation of performance. For example, let's take an 800 gallon per hour pump, which is the purple line on the chart that you're looking at. At 800 gallons per hour, that's only at zero lift. This vertical axis here is showing in feet how high up you're trying to push that, that water, and this horizontal axis is showing gallons per hour or the performance of the pump. So at eight, this 800 gallon per hour pump starts here at zero lift. And as you go up higher and higher and higher, you see that you're getting less and less and less performance. And in fact, just to get another data point, at six feet of lift, it looks like a 550 gallon per hour pump. You're only pushing 550 gallons every hour if you're pushing it up to six feet of height. So this is a very important thing to know about any pump that you're looking at. So now what I'd like to do is I actually want to take you through an example of how to calculate the pump for a timer-based system. So let's start back with our really simple one-to-one -one ratio of the volume of the grow bed to the volume of the fish tank. And just to keep our lives really simple, we're gonna say that we've got a 100 gallon fish tank and a 100 gallon grow bed. Now remember that in the grow bed, 60% of that volume is gonna be filled with media, 40% will be filled with water whenever you run your pump. So up to that standpipe, you're going to have 40% water. So let's look at our considerations. Number one, the amount of water we need to fill the grow bed in the required amount of time. Well, with this 40%, I need 40 gallons. So I need to be able a pump that can run 40 gallons of water in 15 minutes. Remember that with the timers, we run 15 minutes on, 45 minutes off. So I need to push 40 gallons in 15 minutes or four times 40 gallons in an hour. That's 160 gallons. So that's, that's my first criteria. Now, let's look at number two. 
I need to turn over all the water in this fish tank, or 100 gallons, in an hour. Again, because we're only 15 minutes off on, for the fish tank, I need to move four times 100 gallons, or 400 gallons. This is a much higher threshold than this one. So I need at least 400 gallon per hour pump. Now, I want to account for head height. So whatever the distance is between where the pump is in the fish tank and the top of the grow bed, that's going to be my head height. That is probably going to cause this to need to go up to a 550 or even per hour, or even an 800 gallon per hour pump. Okay, so that's how this works on a timer-based system. Now let's talk about siphon-based with a sump. Now with siphons, we actually no longer need to worry about number one, like we did with the timers. The reason for this is the amount of water needed to fill the grow beds and the required time goes away because with a siphon-based system, the pump's running all the time. So I will always have enough water to fill those grow beds. It's just not an issue. I still need to worry about turning the water over in the fish tank for filtration purposes once an hour. I now have a new concern though, and this is that I need to have enough flow rate going into my grow beds to trigger those siphons. Now remember that siphons need to develop a plug inside of them. That plug development has to do with the rate of flow of the water into the siphon. So that's something that's new. I still need to account for head height, always. And because of this minimum flow rate, no matter what we come up with, I always want you to take it up a level to the next size pump. So let's go through an exercise and see if we can figure out how big of a pump we need. So again, I'm going to go with 100 gallon volume grow beds, but I'm going to have three of them now. 100 gallon, 100 gallon. I've got a fish tank here. Let's say my fish tank is still 100 gallons. And I've got a sump tank over here. And this is where my pump exists. And my pump is pumping water all the time to three grow beds and to the fish tank. Okay, so the first criteria that we have is that I need to make sure that the water, that there's enough water pushing in here that's going to push the water back out. Remember how our return goes. So I'm pushing enough water in and out of this tank so that I'm moving 100 gallons in an hour. That's all I need to do for the fish tank. I also, at the same time the water's going into there, it's filling up each of these grow beds. So at a minimum, I need to make sure that I'm at getting enough water into each of these grow beds in order to fill them up. Now, back to what we've been saying, we've got only 40% of the grow beds being filled with water, so 40 gallons. So I've got to move 40 gallons of water into these grow beds all the time. So now I've got three times 40, 120 gallons is being accounted for by the grow beds. So this is the fish tank, this is the grow bed. 220 gallons is how much I would need to move, accounting for head height, because that's, that's the other thing. But we're starting there, that's how much I would need to move if I didn't have to worry about my siphons. So 220 gallons plus head height, let's say at this point we're up to, uh, 400 gallon per hour pump. 
And by the way, notice how much less this is than on the timer-based system. The reason is because this pump is working continuously. I don't have just 15 minutes to do this. I have a full hour. Okay, I'm just at 440 gallons per hour. I guarantee you that's not going to be enough to trigger the siphon in these grow beds. What I want you to do is now take it up a level. So I've got 400 gallons per hour, go up to the next level, perhaps a 550 gallon per hour pump, and you're gonna be good to go. So this is how you actually calculate what size pump you're going to need for your system, depending on the type of system that you're, you're growing with.